Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Beastman Private Limited. In this video tutorial, uh, we will learn one awesome trick about how to uh, make your data visible or invisible with the help of slicers. And that technique would be very useful when you create uh, any kind of a report or eventually when you create some dashboards, this would be very handy for you. So this technique is, is mainly focused for the ones who uh, create dashboard reports in Microsoft Excel or a kind of MIS reports. And uh, we will learn a few techniques in this video tutorial. And I hope you will find it uh, amazing and you will apply it to your workplace as well. So let's get started. Uh, I have one data and uh, let's first understand that what is available in the data set. So there are six different columns, a month, which is which considers the um, month of uh, with with the year as well month and year number then we have a column of products there are six to seven different products available then we have some numbers of forecast sales which are not real i have just used the rent between function uh, then we have some departments there are four departments and we have one more column uh, for the year which we will be using uh, in the slicer now what I did is uh, I selected this entire data and uh, then I created a pivot table right so after creating a pivot table I inserted uh, some slicers so how to get the slicer you have to go to analyze tab and then when you click on slicer then you select the relevant fields you want to create the slicer of those fields and then I copy all those slicers and I put into a new sheet where I put the heading of dashboard and now in this sheet, you can see a slicer of uh, year, then month, right? And then a department and we have product. And uh, the, these are four slicers I have placed uh, wherever I want to, but you can make it more interesting uh, by applying the rule of uh, contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. That is the crap rule, which is very important for dashboard reporting. Um, all right, so, and, and also I have, uh, the, the main part of this basically dynamic uh, thing is concept is that uh, whatever we select on these slicers, this data gets filtered from that pivot table. And how this da this data is coming from that from the pivot is basically uh, I have used the if function here. Okay, and it's very easy. So if you if you are intermediate advanced level user, you will find it very easy and you can understand this if function easily so let me just first run this small dashboard and then i will show you how i have created all those logics which you will be amazed in next few minutes so let's see uh, in in the first slicer i have only selected the year which is 2014 and you can see that in the month slicer you will find a uh, month from january till december only for 2014 right and uh, below that we have one more slicer of department there are four departments there can be more than four and on this left side we have the uh, products names okay now what happens is the magic starts here now so when i select for example if i don't want to see all these months numbers uh, I just want to see January. So I need to click on January uh, button, right? Uh, I just need to click on this January slicer part. And what next thing I need is that when I click on January, only the January column should appear. The rest of the column should not show anything. This should work like invisible. Okay. So let's see if, if this happens or not. So when I click on January, only the January figures are there in this first column and uh, the borders are also made uh, in this column only. And this remaining part is just like a blank cells, blank area. And what if, if I don't, if, if, for example, if I want to have more than one month selection in the slicer, so I, I want January, then I want June and then September, for example. So I will press the control key and I will click on June and then September. So now you can see that you have just formatting and numbers in these three columns 
first there is Jan 2014 then June and then September and what if later on if I select April so now you can see that April has been adjusted itself and there are four months so whatever I I am selecting from this month slicer uh, that specific part is is appear on this particular area whereas other remaining part is just like an invisible blank cells right and uh, when I select all for example Jan to December so now you can see that uh, all months are visible so first thing is that uh, how this, this is happening there are just two logics one is the formula based approach and on this specific range we have applied conditional formatting that is making uh, the uh, non-selected uh, area of the slicer into a white area so let me first show you what what has been added into the conditional formatting uh, so I will go to the home tab I will click on conditional formatting and then I will go to manage rules and now here you can see that the logic which I have applied is uh, LVP data pivot table so this is a reference uh, of, of a sheet which is in which we have created a pivot table and next next thing is that if b40 the cell reference b40 should not equals to b10 this statement is true so you can see that i have applied a formatting in which i have selected only a fill white color so that happens because this rule is considered as true on the back end this rules is true true so uh, what happens is that particular portion uh, with the help of conditional formatting me the white area right but that's not the complete logic let me finish uh, one more logic here you can also filter with with the help of department so whatever the department you like uh, you can see that those numbers are coming right and all this magic is happening because we have created a pivot table and all those slicers are connected with the pivot and we have taken this data with the help of if condition so let first understand what is applied here as as by the if function so it says that if b10 b10 this this is the current sheet this is the cell b10 right if b10 is equals to the lvp data pivot table b40 if this b10 is equals to that pivot table sheet b40 then return a cell which is in the same sheet lvp data pivot table b5 and if b10 of this sheet is not equals to the b40 it should be empty right so this is a simple if but the question is what is inside b10 so there is a number you can see on the formula bar because right so there are numbers so for january i have put one for fab i have put two so i know that there are 12 months so we have put that numbers here in this particular row and uh, the technique to hide all these numbers is uh, not to apply the white font color but uh, in the custom we have uh, applied three times semicolon all right so again coming back to this if so if b10 is equals to lvp data pivot table b40 now let's come to the logic of this selection that how it's happening because then now the main last part of this magical technique is that how that data is being reducing first was with the help of conditional formatting uh, now the second part now as you know that in this particular pivot table all months are showing why because here in the slicer I have selected from Jan till December 14 all are selected right but for example in this particular slicer if I just click on Jan so what will happen in this pivot table only Jan month gets filtered and, and rest of the months uh, area will just get invisible I mean nothing in it right so whatever you select in the in the slicer whatever month or whatever the attribute um, you select in the slicer that appears in the pivot table and that's how your pivot table uh, increases column wise right so that's that's the first thing you need to understand 
now this pivot table is entirely from jan to december and what a logic which i have created here is that you can see in this particular sheet which we are which we were talking about lvp data pivot table uh, cell b40 right and you can see here a list of numbers horizontal on on the raw number 40 from 1 till 12 now how you can create a serial number it's very easy with the help of columns function with the help of columns function uh, you can drive the serial number so when i copy and paste this function towards the right side control r you can see that this function is can easily give us the serial number uh, raw horizontally okay now there is a logic and this you need to understand again this is a simple if function so it says if b5 now what is b5 b5 is is basically of this sheet and b5 consists of months okay so now you need to understand if b5 is not equals to empty nothing what does this mean if b5 not equals to nothing if if b5 if there is something in b5 this means if th there is something in b5 so generate a serial number and if there is nothing in b5 just make it as blank all right so what happens when i go to the dashboard and when i click on for example when i click on january only right and rest of the months are not there right so when i come back to this sheet and now if you can see that before that there were also uh, other numbers as well two three four five six on this row but now there are no no numbers why understand this formula again c if c5 is not equals to blank this means that c5 contains something so my question is does any value is available currently in c5 no because now c5 is empty why c5 is empty because it is not selected in the slicer so pivot was unable to create a column for the month of feb so there is nothing in b5 okay so when there is nothing in b5 this cell generates blank right and in the conditional formatting if i show you that rule how this section has has been made into white because now you will understand that so now the last part of this magic is that now you will understand that how this area is 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 being made a white color a kind of an invisible until and unless we select rest of the month from this slicer so let's understand this uh, conditional formatting formula for the last one more time so it says that lvp data pivot table b40 now in the b40 you know that there is a number which should not be equals to b10 so in this sheet b10 contains exactly the same number which is the equivalent so we are using an opposite strategy to make sure that our conditional formatting should be applied so as you can see that when we select any two months three months four months whatever the months we select the this pivot table raw number 40 generates the numbers accordingly and these numbers are match with the other numbers so all those numbers which are match and equivalent shows the data the ones which we have covered that this should not be equivalent because uh, whenever we don't select anything from the slicer there will be a blank but there are numbers of other months as well and that should be not equivalent and when they are not equivalent uh, our logic of uh, conditional formatting gets true and it shows the white area okay so this is how we make this the last thing is that if you can observe that when i select 2014 from the year slicer only the 
14 months are for the 2014 months are selected here when i click on 2013 the whole area gets disappear what you need to do is when you select to the other year you need to click on month as well so you just see 2013 uh, month then when you click on 2015 uh, you can see only 2015 months that now how this is happening because whenever i change the year only that particular year months are visible because i have resized this slicer i have made the slicer resize all years months are presented in the slicer but there is just one technique of common thing is that when you resize it up to only the 12 months visibility so what whatever you select from from the primary slicer which is the year slicer you will only get that so this is also a nice technique to show your uh, large data into into split it neat and clean so i hope you like this video and and uh, do share it with your friends as well and do apply in your dashboard reports thank you